Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Oopsie Daisy six thing folder and I'm going to turn this into a sticker folder so I can have everything in separate places. So I have got some dividers just in case I need them and these plastic wallets which I'm going to use, they're reusable and I'm going to use them to divide up my stickers so that they're organised within the folder so I should be able to find what I need to find without having to go through a massive box every time. So there's a few of these, um, they're quite hard wearing so they should last a while um, even if I keep using them again and again and again. So what the idea is is that I put a different type of sticker in each wallet and then pop it in my Oops Daisy folder. So I am going to have to make sure I punch all the holes out though because obviously they're already there. But um, So the first thing I'm going to do is sort out my monthly stickers. So for this month it is Harry Potter. Um, so I'm going to make sure that they go into a plastic wallet. But what will happen is, is that they will change over each month so that I know what I'm what I'm what I've got there is what I use for my weekly spreads. As I take all the holes out. But these plastic these plasticky wallets, they're not really plastic, they're kind of they're they're heavy duty. Um I feel like they're gonna last a long time, so they're actually really good and hard wearing. Um I'll link everything that I have used below so that um if you want to make your own sticker folder you can. So I literally just going to pop all the stickers in different sections. So those ones are going to be my weekly ones or the monthly ones. Um, depending on what I'm doing. If you notice I'm taking some of them out because I'm going to put those in subsequent um, wallets. So that's all the Harry Potters in one wallet. So you can pop that to one side and then we can start the next one. Okay, so moving on to the next one, I'm already going to go through and take out all the holes. I'm not going to show you that every time. And then I'm going to use this one to put my book covers in. So I've got two different types of book covers. Some of them are small ones that will go on to read lists or read lists. And then the other ones, like this one, a kind of spark, is a bigger one. So that will go on a review page. So I've got several of the books there. I've read a kind of spark and the Cornish midwife I've still got to read. Or the county hospital, I think. They're all Jay Barnett's. I've got to make sure they're all the way up, up the right way because then I'll be able to see them when I put them in the folder. Oh, there's some more Harry Potter stickers, so we're just going to go and find the Harry Potter folder and then chuck this back in. There's always something you miss every time. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my um, stencils. Because I've got some little stencils from Whoops Daisy as well. So I want to pop those into a plastic wallet. Again, I'm taking the holes out. Um, and then they can go into one of these. If you want to see what those t those stencils are, then I've got another video with my Whoops Daisy hold haul in. And then it's a case of just popping them into my um, Whoops Daisy folder. So there will be more of them. I think... You know, week in or further on from having made this video, I can see where there's there's more. Um, I've used up all the wallets now, but yeah. So that's the basics of my um, sticker folder. <laughs> 